Hello everyone, Shrouded Hand here. Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. Time for a new fortress and it looks like I'm going to have to be creating a new world. Because I recently got a new computer. Didn't realise that Dwarf Fortress cloud savers don't carry over. So uh, that's kind of annoying but I don't know. I've, I've played quite a lot on the last world I created. So uh, let's just create a new one and it, you know we'll have a bit of fun. Um, yeah I mean I did have my suspicions that the last world was bugged a little bit so every fortress i seem to try seem to have some weird problems with it so we'll we'll see how it goes new computer new world fresh start new civilization to play with all right here we are here we are let's have a look at what civilizations we've got in this world here we go the glove of pears the dwarves seem to be up on the north the north here uh, yeah, they seem to have some humans this side, some goblins up here encroaching on their land from the from the snowy wastes. There's interesting, interesting. Is that a is that a necromancer tower up there? I think it could be. Um, let's have a look what else we've got. Blockades of grooving. They're over here on the east. And they've got a nice little mountain range to try and conquer over here. That would be nice because they seem to be all clustered around this area, but it might be fun to sort of try moving up here and building some more. The Mortal Ink are... Oh, these are, this is another one like the last load that I tried where they don't have any actual sites. So it looks like they were over here at some point. I, I think this might be an abandoned fortress. So another interesting one, kind of like the last guys. So, hey, interesting. Uh, it looks like all the dwarves are up on the northern edge of the world here, which is weird because they can get to all the other places. So yeah, it looks like this might have been one of their sites, but they they were destroyed probably by the goblins, which are just all through the forest here. And then we've got the flickering earth, which are down here. and yeah, They've got quite a lot of sites all the way around here. They've got a nice like defensive position. Yeah, so that's interesting. I quite like the sound of these guys, the blockade of grooving. They're, they're not massive. They've got 11 sites here. They seem to be fending off here against the encroaching uh, goblin pits here in the forest. So I wonder if it would be nice to sort of sort of, sort of heading south. They, they seem to be in the best position to do so. They could make this crossing here. There's a few little, little human hamlets and things along the way. Yeah, this looks like it should be nice. Yeah, so I kind of want to head down here. I think this might be cool. So I want to find somewhere with a nice big sort of cliff edge. Or just like a lot of mountains. So like this mountain range here is good, but I can't embark like right on here. So I'm wondering if... Because what I had an idea of doing... I've been reading a book called The Dwarves by Marcus Heights. He describes the dwarven fortresses as being castles that are sort of carved from the mountain itself rather than being built up. And I thought that sounds like a fun idea. I might try that. So I kind of want to find somewhere with, like here might be cool, somewhere with like a lot of high cliffs. What about here? Could I? Maybe here would be cool. Yeah, so we've got like a desert fortress, but then we've got like a weird mountain thing here. We've selected a savage area. The wildlife might be very dangerous. Okay, so might die immediately. I do have a... Um, no, I don't have a profile anymore. Damn it, because I don't have my old saves. God, oh, I always used to do this. Two miners with like... Two, two skilled miners. Cause of God. There we go. And then the other guys, I'm going to just give them, like, combat training. Competent. Good arm, armor user. Good dodger. To be honest, every other skill, they can train up as they go. And they will have five decent fighters and two miners. That, to me, sounds like it. If they're a good axe dwarf, but they're not a good fighter, I, I don't know. What does fighting do? I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so I like to give him some body wear. Just some copper stuff. 
copper helms. We haven't got much left. Um, and then some copper shields. Okay, let's just stock up on ale. <laughs> okay, group name. The Standard of Wars. Uh, the Grizzly Barricade. That sounds good. The Fortress name. Machine Virgins. Swift Door. Kill Tower. That's a good name. Yes. Let us embark. Let's go. Kill Tower. So, what I want to do... Let's have so we've got this big mountainous range here. It goes right up into the corner. Yes, I think this will work very well. So what I really want to do is dig it all the way back and then have this big massive wall. So, yeah, let's just start. I'm going to dig backwards and see how far this, this goes. So yeah, I want to get through this sandy wall here until we hit like actual rock. Just hitting sandy loamy rock here. This is no good. We don't like the loam. This is we're going to be really terraforming this area. But uh, here we go. Look, there we go. Rail light. We're hitting some actual stuff here. Good. So this will be the this will be the entrance to the fortress. I think it's a bit. It is a bit close to the edge. Hmm, actually, <laughs> maybe I've changed my mind. What about closer to the uh, embark location? Okay, forget forget about this. We've had a look. We've seen what's in there. Now let us uh, start getting into this. I was really deep in the loom. We've got, to, we've got to get in deep. So we're going to be cutting all of this back if we can. Loamy sand wall. Oh, come on, dwarves. Get that stuff dug out. Hmm. Maybe this whole bit is sand. Yeah, this could work. This could work right here. Okay. So, start digging through, dwarfs. This is going to be our entrance chamber here, and it's going to be... I mean, eventually it's going to be very grand. At the moment, it's just going to be a little hovel for us to live in. And while we're at it, we'll... Uh, just realise we haven't really got anywhere to pasture the few animals that we've got. Which may be a massive problem. So... I don't know whether they breach the cavern straight away, or whether they just let the animals starve. But for now, we've got some little areas for growing. So let's build some farm plots here. And another one. I'm not going to stay there, but um, we'll just have them there for now. No wood either, damn it. Okay, we're definitely going to have to breach the caverns, I think. Okay, let's put a stockpile here for whatever we've got. Um, everything except for stone, please. So start bringing things in if you could, and then oh, we we will have a bit of um, so we we'll, we can we can demolish the wagon and make ourselves a little workshop. So that's good. Um. So let's build a... I don't think I can make the beds out of other materials. I could be wrong. Just make it out of this block of granite we've got here. And actually, let's let's make this a bit wider. We want like, like a big wide grand entrance into our fortress. Let's just... I, I'm going to put bed, make beds on repeat. See how many we can make. I think I should be all right, but I think I really will need to breach the cavern straight away. Which I kind of wanted to focus on building the, the amazing castle, but needs must, I suppose. Let's put some... Uh, whatever we've got. I don't know what seeds we've got, so we'll just... We'll 
we'll put plump helmets on this one. It's not the best soil for plump helmets, to be honest. Probably just mine a little bit here. And then have like a... Go down to like minus one. We'll see what we find. Maybe the miners will find something down there. Maybe not. Um, so has that guy stopped making beds now? So it seems like we've got four beds, is it? Um, okay, let's put in some beds just here. Three beds? I'm sure you've got four. No, three. I was wrong. Okay, and we'll make this into a little dormitory. So the dwarves will share these beds. It's not exactly perfect, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. We'll also set up our stone workers just here. And we'll make a door for here. I wouldn't mind making the mechanics, actually, but then I've just remembered I haven't got anything to make the cages out of. Okay, make a door. There we go. So now the miner's going to start mining downwards. And then we're going to have to probably explore around a bit till we find the cavern layer. But yeah, yeah, I didn't expect there to be absolutely no trees on here. I think it probably did tell me on the embark site, but I, was, I wasn't paying attention, to be honest. Typical. And we'll put our door in there. A little stone door, granite door, I think. Perfect entrance to our fortress. Miners are making good progress and we're finding some nice gemstones. So, it might be good to set up a little gemstone cutter place uh, at some point. So, let's see if they'll get the miners coming up back up. What's this? Obsidian already? Mm hmm. Getting native gold. That's a good sign. That's usually a good sign. If we hit native gold, usually there's a cavern layer around I found um, so we'll auto mine this maybe we'll maybe we'll pierce the caverns at some point though so elevation 26 that seems quite high up for a cavern layer but I'm not 100% sure if nothing else at least we're finding some nice gold finding some tetrahedrite that's good as well see the two dwarves waiting for their turn on the bed <laughs> I don't really know the rules of finding caverns. I've just found that there's usually gold on the cavern levels, but also the obsidian here is kind of interesting. I wonder if that also means that there's something behind there. Might be worth a few little channels outwards just to see what we find. Bloody hell, how much gold are we finding? Absolutely tons. That's a nice little vein, that is. We're getting lots of gold and a lot of gems, so I'm happy with this. We can We can become a little jewelers, I suppose. Yeah, I really want us to set up... Oh, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, miners, good job. How's... um? Where, where have we got to? Can we pause? Oh, look at this. It goes right down here. Jeez. That's a bit... Uh, let's have a little cheeky uh, staircase over here. Go on. Down to ground level. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, pierce the caverns. I suppose we haven't actually pierced them, have we? Now we're piercing them. Now we're piercing them. Okay, so we can seal off the uh, the wall here. Just get, get yourself some... Wow, it's really high. <laughs> Okay, we're pierced the caverns. So let's build a nice um, staircase. And we'll build a staircase here. Well, wow, it's really, it's really crazy high. Okay, we've got water as well. That's good to see. I'll start building the wall here. Just 
build that on whatever we've got pretty much and then we've got some trees to get and yeah i think i'll have to start um i'm not going to try and wall off the entire place like i usually do that's that's crazy talk we'll just sort of like here might be a good place to wall off whatever you can find just build a yeah whatever you've got nearby we'll also chop down some trees because that'll make it easier to um chop down things chop down these trees yes yes staircase is built apart from one bit now we've got a little emergency staircase here but uh, i'm going to fill that in i think Lots of walls. Um, yeah, fine. Granite blocks, perfect. Migrants have arrived already. They must have heard about our amazing expansion project here. All right, all hands on deck. Let's, let's see who we've got. A child. One of them is a child, and a clothier. Okay. A legendary clothier, though. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm not going to complain. A grand master conversationalist, professional negotiator. Okay, so this might become our. Uh, broker okay all right guys you want to come in you're just gonna hang out on the edge here this is our dwarven child knows one song and that's it okay carry on carry on everyone let's um let's get the wall built while we're while we're thinking about it for fuck's sake you knew the wall was being built I'd really love it if the miners came along and did this quickly. If you could. Have they given up? I think they've I think they just cancelled that job. What the f what the hell? Huh. Maybe they can they not just dis dismantle this wall or something weird like that? No, they seem to be cancelling this job. I, d I don't understand why they can't remove this bit of wall here. So we'll have to mine through, I guess, and then rebuild it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, let's do this. That's way easier. That's way easier way of doing it. All right, we've got all this built. Okay, good. Don't go out there. Where are you even going? Forbidden. And this forbidden, forbidden. It's all forbidden. We still got people making. Uh... Oh, hey, what's this? Or a beast. What's that? A chinchilla. Okay, that's fine. As long as it's just a normal sized chinchilla. That's alright. Make rock blocks. Should make them out of anything actually. That's fine. Just make just make blocks. Come on, dwarves. There we go, nice. Nice, we're getting it all sealed up. Hmm, I should probably start pasturing the animals down here as well. That might be good. Um, let's build a little pasture, pen pasture. That'll do. Hmm. 
I've got a camel and a yak, so yeah. Hopefully that'll stop them from starving. Oh god, the caravans here. Well, we haven't got much to trade. Look, we've found a lot of um, crafty type of things. So we haven't done anything with them. You know, gemstones and stuff. Things to make nice things out of. But uh, I guess I guess we could just make it out of whatever. Just some granite blocks. Let's get that built. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got to trade some nice stuff here, but um, we haven't really got much. <laughs> so let's have a look. Rough gems. I mean, these might be all right. It's not exactly. Uh, it's not exactly perfect, is it? But I suppose if we're giving them an example of our wealth, yeah. can we trade gold nuggets? <laughs> It's going to be heavy lugging all that there, but yeah, why not? Diplomacy. Okay, Momaz Erythium. Um, just bring us all the drinks. We could probably be brewing our own by the time you come back next year, but we, we want to. Okay, this wall's done. That seals off this end. And then there's a wall over here that should be this wall is done it seals off this corner and then we've got this wall that's still being built but it's very easy to build and then we've got one more over here which is this wall we don't even need that dugout this is all perfect yeah that's all sealed off nicely and then we've got the old uh, wall on this side this is all sealed off. Okay. So all we really need to do now is seal off this end here, which is not too tricky. Okay, okay. everyone's just bringing all this stuff here. It's going to take them a while. I think the gold blocks are heavy, the gold nuggets. Well, we're at it. Let's have a think about who we want our broker to be. So this clothier is not a, an appraiser, but a grand master conversationalist. I really feel like this would be a good skill to have as a broker. Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't even see the message saying they were getting ready to leave. Oh, grrr. <laughs> now we won't get any bloody migrants for ages. Fine. Okay, so what I want to do now is start carving back. Any and all. Okay, we're just we're just carving out. Hopefully, not causing a massive cave in while we do it. We might do because there's a few tunnels. But start digging back all the soil. Until we hit the bedrock. We're going to sort of expose the bedrock of the, uh, the fortress here. So we know what we're working with. So my, more migrants have arrived. Okay, good. Well, that's good. That's fine. Okay, we've got a few more people. We're going to have to start building some bedrooms first. But I want to focus on this. Let's just get this done, yeah? Pretty much everything sealed off apart from this area here. And I'll probably also get a little... Um, well built as well so let's plan that why are the miners not mining i'm sure i asked them to mine I don't know why they wouldn't be mining. Luckily this soil doesn't take too long to mine off. See, we're digging it all back now. Once I've exposed the rock underneath. Hey, look at this as well. There's grass growing on the... Uh... Yeah, well, maybe we'll get some trees or something, I don't know. Oh fuck, watch out! Don't get injured. 
He's fallen, he's got unconscious, damn it. Sorry, Miner. Caused a bit of a cave in there. That's okay. I'm sure he'll survive. Let's have a look at who we've got in our cavern in our place now. A fish dissector, a fishery worker, a ranger. A couple of stone cutters. They might have become some of these might be the peasants of Bokum stone cutters. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right, we're nearly done with this. Just one more couple of bits of wall to do. Obsidian blocks there. Cool. Real cool. And our miners coming down the hole now, yes, yes, yes. It's a bit of a weird wonky design, but okay. Little staircase here. And I want you to start digging that out, please, miners. I don't want people using this staircase. This is a perfectly fine staircase over here. We don't need this staircase. There we go. So we're digging a hole for the well. Dig, dig, and we're going to carve a fortification and also while we're at it, I still don't know if I need to do these things, but we'll make a rock grate from granite. Do that immediately, please. Okay, we've got a hole, we've got a fortification, have we got a wall grate? That'd be great. Yes, we have. Here would be lovely. Ah, oh, cap, go on. Fungi wood, whatever the hell. Okay, we've got this, so let's um, channel this out. So we're getting a bit low on food and drink. There we go, and let's hastily construct a wall here. There we are. So we're nearly done. If the, if the dwarves can get on with not cancelling every job here for whatever stupid reason, I don't know why they insist on infuriating me that way, but they do. And here we are, look, water coming into the fortress. And then we can build a well that should make him a bit happier. So, oh god damn it, bloody mechanisms. Fine. Um, let's make a quick old um, mechanic. Why can't I see the mechanic? God. Build it from whatever you've got. Granite blocks, that's fine. And then, um, yeah, I'll have to start thinking about the old, I mean, we'll just start building things outside for now. It's not the best, but we'll build a still. And we'll build our kitchens. Alright, so let's brew, brew some drinks. 
brew some drinks and prepare easy meals. We want to ensure that we're not um, cooking with the drinks as usual. Please don't cook with them. I don't know why that's on, why that isn't off by default. You know what I mean? Seems an oversight. Okay, here we go. So let's make, oh, that'd be nice. Obsidian blocks, that'll be cool. A birch and bucket, pigtail rope, and obsidian mechanism. Okay, so we're gonna have a well. We're gonna have drinks, and we're getting some We're getting some food and drink made. So I guess the next thing to do is, um, what's this? What's, oh God, why does the sections of the caverns keep collapsing? You're, you're actually injured, are you? I don't know how. It doesn't seem like it should have collapsed on you, but okay. Oh shit, has he died? Oh man, we've lost a bloody miner. I, I don't know how that's collapsed because it he was he was channeling down onto he wasn't channeling over open air here. So I don't know what the hell's happened there. That's that's annoying. But okay, fine. I mean I'm channeling down into You know, I'm doing it as safely as I can here. So, stupid miners have just killed themselves. Fine. I suppose that's a tragedy, is it? I suppose I've got to treat that as if it's a tragedy, have I? So who wants to be a miner? I guess, um... I guess, uh... Let's have a look. I guess you two. I don't know how many picks we've got, but... Just, just heed the other miners' foolhardiness. So I guess what I'm going to do is build a little, like... I guess in one of these gold seams here. So what I'm going to do, it's going to be a little temporary area down here, just for people to, to live in briefly. So just to keep everyone happy, make sure everyone's got, like, beds and rooms and things. It's going to be our little, like, little temporary area here. Eleven little bedrooms. Think about burying our dead. I guess we're going to have somewhere bury to bury them in the caverns. That would make the most sense. Yeah, I think everything's sealed off now. So I think a little area like this. Make a coffin. So we're going to start making tables and chairs soon. I'm going to start making doors on repeat. And some more beds. So once we've got the bedrooms dug out. Get them all smoothed out. Put in doors. Beds. Beds, 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 beds. Oh, missed one. Bed. And we'll make 11 bedrooms created. Okay, awesome. So the dwarves are getting a bit miserable. Probably due to my mismanagement of this place. Um... Why are they cancelling this task? Maybe we haven't got enough barrels, so let's make rock pots. Is that the thing we make here? Uh, maybe you make them at a craft dwarf's thing. Am I being blind and I just can't see it? Okay, let's make barrels then. Cancel the doors, we've got enough now. Oh. 
Um, I will create a tomb. Done. There we go. So we've got somewhere to bury our dead. I wonder if we've got any more animals yet. No, still nothing but camel and a yak. So we're kind of terraforming this area. It's it's taken a while, but oh, you can see I'm sort of coating back this loamy sand until we hit rock, and then that will sort of determine the shape of our amazing castle when it finally comes to fruition, which it definitely will. I definitely won't just kill everyone really early on like I normally do. This time it'll work. I'm also going to plan out my little thing here. So this will be our main hall. This will be nice. This will be nice. A lot of digging jobs here. Hopefully no more miners kill themselves in the time that it takes to dig this all out. I, I think this is going to be a nice little fortress, hopefully. If no disaster befalls us too early on. Yeah, the idea is re re literally just to dig back into the bedrock here and then sculpt that into our castle. So the shape of the castle will be determined by the shape of the mountain, really. That's what I want. I think this is going to be where the beginnings start. And down here we've got some temporary bedrooms. But these are literally just going to be, these are just for the people, the founding members, just to sleep in, just to keep them happy, because they are getting a bit unhappy about things. But once we've got, I feel like once we've got the hall in, we've got enough drink and we've got bedrooms for everyone, things will start doing, yeah, things will start shaping up, people will start cheering up a bit. Yep, I can see, I can picture it, it's all going to be amazing, obviously. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and um, yeah, to catch you on the next episode. Goodbye.